How's it going everyone? Brodelsam here. So, uh, last night developer Macaulay shared a, a demonstration video showcasing his own re-implementation of the PS2 emulator exploit, which is a, a user land exploit that was disclosed publicly uh, by c back in September 2022. Uh, this exploit uh, is present in the built-in PS2 emulator inside the PS5 uh, and PS4. Uh, I believe this is the second time we see this exploit in action, uh, after the first demonstration video which was uploaded by c himself back in uh, September 2022. So, uh, developer Macaulay showcased the exploit running on the latest PS5 firmware, which is 6.50, and therefore confirming it uh, to be uh, vulnerable. He also tested it on uh, PS4 5.05, but uh, it should also work on the latest PS4 firmware 10.01, uh, since this bug is uh, unpatchable and is present in uh, particular PS2 games' uh, save datas, uh, which have uh, you know uh, exploitable save datas. Uh, and as long as the uh, vulnerable game is installed on your PS4, the console uh, remains uh, vulnerable to this bug as a whole, which is kind of uh, hard for Sony PlayStation to patch this bug as long as the game is already on uh, your system. Them. But the implementation itself uh, has not been released yet, so uh, we cannot test this uh, for now. Uh, we may see a public release uh, in the coming days uh, or weeks, but more importantly, we're waiting for uh, C-Tert to publish part 2 uh, of his uh, exploit write-up, uh, which is the arbitrary code execution part. Uh, C-Tert mentions that it's possible to run PS4 homebrew apps inside the PS2 emulator, so uh, they are PS2 homebrew apps built in and function as uh, PS4 homebrew apps. Well, like, built not built in so uh, they are built and function as ps4 homebrew apps so uh, that's all uh, not huge news uh, or anything but uh, it's good to see someone else uh, re-implementing c bug uh, from his uh, write-up uh, and good to see that a user land exploit works on the latest uh, firmware of ps5 even though a, a kernel exploit and a hypervisor exploit uh, are both required for a uh, full PS5 jailbreak. It's also good to see that uh, it's working on PS4 as well. Uh, speaking of hypervisor, uh, developer David Miller uh, has announced that he has obtained the AMD desktop kits uh, which he needs for his research on the PS5's hypervisor. So uh, we may see a hypervisor exploit coming from uh, developer David Miller in the coming weeks or uh, months. So, yeah, that's it for the PS4 and PS5 jailbreak news, uh, and I will be testing this on the PS4 uh, firmware 9.00 in case it gets uh, released. So, yeah, that's it. Take care, and I will see you soon, if anything else comes up.